Hello everyone and welcome. Today we are crafting the perfect elevated doghouse. Are you new to DIY? No worries. My name is Vitaly and I make woodworking plans. Think of the best home you can build for your dog. Now let's make it happen. Watch and learn how to construct an elevated doghouse that will keep your furry friend secure and comfy for years to come. For every pet owner who sees their dog as family, a standard shelter won't do. The inspiration for the doghouse struck when an image captured my attention an elevated structure. I got fired up and began working on my own sketch. Practicality drove my design. It's raised to shield your pet from the ground moisture and from pests, providing a calm, unobstructed view to watch over their yard. To add to the sense of comfort, I incorporated a porch, a space where your dog can soak up the sun or retreat into the shade while still feeling secure and connected to their home. The dimensions had to be just right. The space is big enough for any breed, from the playful beagle to the dignified Great Dane, ensuring room for stretching, turning, and relaxing. What about seasonal changes? The answer was insulation, providing a cozy retreat in the winter and cool haven in the summer for year-round comfort. Throughout the week spent designing, I had many questions. This became more than a fleeting idea for me. It turned into a mission. I invested into tools and software, dedicating countless hours to drafting. All the extensive research and design efforts have been distilled into a comprehensive DIY guide. It's my hard work condensed into a resource that I am excited to share with you. These building instructions are available for you in the link below. Let's dive into the detailed build of this doghouse. This guide is structured into six steps that will take you from the foundation to a complete cozy home for your pet, starting with step one. All right, so for step one, we're going to be creating the frame of the doghouse. We're going to start by building the side panels of the doghouse. So take two 35 inch two by four pieces, two 56 inch two by four pieces, secure them together with three and a half inch screws. Make sure to pre-drill to prevent the wood from splitting. Use wood glue as well to make a stronger bond. Um, next, go ahead and take two additional 35 inch two by fours, and these are going to be perpendicular to the original 35 inch um, two by fours. Again, secure with three and a half inch screws, pre-drill, use wood glue. And then these are flush together with the other 35 inch pieces. All right, next, uh, go ahead and take two 53 inch two by fours. These are going to be added to the longer side of the side frames. Um, secure with three and a half inch screws, wood glue and these are going to be flushed together uh, with the longer side on both sides. Go ahead and create two of these panels. These are going to be our side panels for the doghouse. Um, next, let's create the back wall of the doghouse. Very similar concept. Take two 35 inch two by fours, two 48 inch two by fours, secure with three and a half inch screws, use wood glue, pre-drill of course, and same thing here, add two additional 35 inch pieces perpendicular to the original 35 inch pieces. Um, use wood glue, countersink drill bit, and three and a half inch screws, secure it all together. They're also flush at the bottom there. And add two 45 inch two by fours to the longer side, similar to the um, side panels as well. So you're going to need to make only one of these because there's only one back wall for the doghouse. And next, let's talk about creating the entrance of the doghouse. So you need two 48 inch two by fours and then a total of four 35 inch pieces. Um, these are going to be assembled as you see here with the following uh, gap so 10 and a half inch gaps between these and then the 21 inch gap for the entrance once you've got that all measured out pre-drill secure with wood glue and three and a half inch screws and now you would need to add four 35 inch pieces uh, four 35 inch two by fours perpendicular to the original 35 inch uh, pieces here so again, secure with three and a half inch screws, pre-drill, use wood glue, and add them just like you did before. You only need one of these because this is gonna be the entrance of the doghouse. Okay, now let's talk about the base of the doghouse, the floor of the doghouse. So 
To make the floor, you're gonna need two 53 inch two by fours, two 48 inch two by fours, and then one in the center here, 45 inch long. Um, it's gonna be directly in the center, so 25 and a quarter inches away from the sides. Um, again, pre-drill, use wood glue, and attach with three and a half inch screws. Now you're going to add a three quarters inch thick plywood sheet directly on top of the frame. Um, I would add glue in this step uh, prior to adding the screws to fasten that plywood sheet. So go ahead and secure it together with two and a half inch screws would be fine here in this step. Okay, now let's talk about how did these panels all come together and how did they create the frame of the doghouse. So first you're going to need to take two 92 inch four by four posts. And these would need to be pressure treated because uh, they're gonna be buried in the ground or a better way would be in cement um, so that they don't rot and they last a long time. This doghouse is designed to last a long time. So take two of these posts and then take the back panel for the doghouse and now attach it to the four x four posts. So if we looked underneath here, we'll see that it's uh, an attachment with three and a half inch screws directly through the back wall frame and into the four x four. So you're gonna do this on both sides. All right, now let's add the base or the floor of the doghouse. So the base is gonna be attached at first to the back of the doghouse, the panel um, here. So if we took away one of the posts, we would be able to see here um, where this attaches. So it is perpendicular to this four, uh, two by four piece on the back wall. Um, and then on the floor panel here, it attaches in that way. And then these are secured by three and a half inch screws and wood glue. So let's go ahead and add the side panels now. So take the two side panels, one on each side here, and then attach them directly to the four x four post. Similar way, you're gonna go directly through the side panels and into the four x four. So you're gonna secure them together. And you also need to secure them together to the floor or the base here. So um, the alignment is uh, is as I showed you before. So you're gonna have these two two by four pieces perpendicular to each other, and you're gonna use three and a half inch screws and directly secure them together like that. All right, next, um, you're gonna add two more four by four posts. So flip the doghouse over on, uh, on the other side, and then these posts are gonna be 96 inches long. So just leave them at eight feet. Again, pressure treated so that it can last a long time. And um, you're going to attach these in a similar way, except they are gonna be four inches. Uh, they're gonna be protruding by four inches. This is going to be important for creating a sloped roof, and you'll see that in future steps um, where that comes in. So secure the side panels of the doghouse um, directly to these 96 inch uh, four x four posts. And now you also need to add the front of the doghouse. So that front panel um, is gonna be attached here as well. So notice how the front panel is flush with the side panels. Um, so it still has that uh, four inch uh, gap um, so that that four by four is protruding out by four inches for the sloped roof. So how is it attached? Well, it's attached in the same way as before. So we're going to go directly through the frame um, of the front uh, panel and into the four by four lumber. Use wood glue, pre-drill, of course, make sure the wood doesn't split. So by the end of the step, you should have a doghouse frame that looks uh, looks like this. Um, so for this step, I also wanted to mention, and, and for the rest of the steps of this DIY guide, is the PDF download includes a cut list, and the cut list is not just for the lumber as well, but also for the plywood sheets, so that you're you have minimal waste, and so that you can do this 
you know, with a good budget and not not overspend. All right, so we're moving on to step two, which is adding the doghouse frame to the actual job site. So we've got the doghouse frame from the previous step, and then this represents the job site here. So first thing we're gonna need to do is dig four holes, one for each of the posts. Now these holes have to be about 18 inches deep and 10 to 12 inches in diameter um, so that there's enough space for the post and for the concrete and the gravel. So the shorter end here between the center of this hole and the center of this hole, the distance is 51 and a half inches. And then the distance center to center on the longer side is 59 and a half inches. So before we add the doghouse frame, we're going to need to add a layer of gravel or small rocks about three to four inches uh, deep. This gravel is going to improve drainage around the posts, preventing water from accumulating around them, which would lead to wood rot. So this doghouse is designed to last a very long time. And by following this step, um, you can have it last longer. So once that's all, uh, all done, then go ahead and get some help and add the doghouse frame to the actual holes. Um, so make sure that it is leveled before you start pouring the uh, concrete. So the amount of gravel and the amount of concrete needed, all of these details are also covered um, in the PDF guide. And there is also additional diagrams as well for the placement of the holes and how you can ensure uh, that they are correctly spaced as well. So go ahead and add the concrete and you need to make sure that it is cured before you do any weight bearing activity or additional work on the doghouse. So typically that's about 24 to 48 hours depending on the manufacturer. So once that is cemented in place, um, your doghouse, you're ready to go on to the next step. So we're going to be adding some uh, two by four lumber pieces. These are just going to fill in some of the gaps um, that we're going to need filled before we can add the insulation to the doghouse. So you have two 46 inch two by fours, one 38 inch piece, and then two small three and a half inch two by fours. So these are going to be added. Uh, you can just use glue and glue them in place. Um, if you want to add them and then get get moving quicker, maybe use a pin nailer and just kind of pin them in place. Um, they will be concealed by some plywood, so no worries if, if it's kind of a rough job. Um, so go ahead and add these. If we remove these, you'll see where they go. So there's some gaps around um, the floor here where those will uh, fill perfectly. Okay. Uh, next, we're going to be adding the siding of the doghouse. So the siding is going to include 53 inch 2x4s, 45 inch 2x4s, and 10 and a half inch 2x4s. So you're going to be adding these. Let me see how much you've got here. One, two, oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight times two. So we've got 16 53 inch pieces. And then you're gonna need eight 45 inch pieces. And then you're gonna need 10 and 10, so 20 10 and a half inch pieces. So add these, uh, secure them with wood glue and also three and a half inch, or not three and a half inch, but two and a half inch screws. You don't want them protruding through the other side. So by the end of this step, you should have a doghouse frame that has siding that is in in the ground already uh, cemented and ready for the next step it'll look something like this all right we're moving on to step three which is adding insulation so this step is crucial for ensuring that your doghouse remains warm and comfortable during the coldest months so uh, we are going to use the one and a half inch thick rigid foam board insulation um, that is sold in many stores across uh, america and parts of the world 96 inch by 48 inch uh, this is a typical uh, size that they come in and we're going to take one of these panels and then just cut it down to size. So we need 
two identical pieces that are going to be 46 inches by 31 and a half inch and then one that is 38 inches by 31 and a half and then two smaller pieces that are 31 and a half by three and a half inches so once we've cut down the insulation board we're going to go ahead and add it to the doghouse so these pieces go into the spaces uh, of the doghouse as you see here if I was to remove one of these, for example, you see that the one and a half inch uh, thick insulation fits perfectly into this gap, which is great. Now, to make sure the insulation stays put, uh, we're going to reinforce it with plywood. OK, so we need uh, two uh, pieces here that are in peach that are 56 inches by 35 and a quarter inch. Uh, one that is 47 by 35 and a quarter and then two that are 35 and a quarter by 13 and the DIY PDF guide it also has plywood cut optimization so that you're not wasting uh, plywood but you can cut it in an optimal way so take these pieces and then we're gonna go ahead and line the inside of the doghouse so here we're gonna use just a pin nailer, either one inch nails or one and a quarter inch nails, and then secure it to uh, secure it to the doghouse uh, frame. So now we need to insulate the top of the doghouse. So the roof of the doghouse. Uh, for this, we're gonna need some two by two lumber pieces. We need two 47 inch pieces and then two 52 inch pieces. Um, secured with uh, just a three and a half inch screw. Make sure to pre-drill so it doesn't split. Add glue as well. Once you have this frame, it's gonna be a little flimsy, so you're gonna reinforce it together with a one and a half inch thick uh, plywood sheet. So use glue and then add uh, the pin nail. So one inch or one, one and a quarter inch pin nails, and you're gonna have this uh, kind of like a basin form. You're gonna add this to the top of the doghouse. So this is gonna be secured together with either two and a half or three and a half inch uh, screws. Now notice how it is uh, slightly, from here to here, it's one and a half inches. So it's gonna be slightly uh, depressed by one and a half inches. The reason why we're doing that is because we're gonna add the insulation into the basin and then we're gonna add a plywood sheet on top of that and then everything is gonna be nice and flush and concealed. So uh, go ahead and add that, use glue and then screws. And you're gonna need to uh, take a new uh, foam board insulation piece and then cut a 44 uh, by 52 inch piece and then add that as before to the inside there. And now you're gonna seal it off with a plywood sheet that is 53 inch by 47 inch. So it's a, an, a um, half an inch thick plywood sheet. So secure it together, use pin nails and glue, and then go around and pin it together. Now you're going to need to add the insulation to the bottom of the doghouse. So um, you're going to need a 56 inch by 48 inch uh, plywood sheet. This is three quarters inch thick. And then this has to be outdoor grade material because of where it goes. So um, we're going to also need the four identical rigid foam board insulation pieces. These are going to be 25 and a quarter by 45. So this uh, will work just by cutting one of the um, full size panels down to size and you'll see where that goes here in a second so uh, for the doghouse go ahead and let's remove this for a moment here you're going to add these these insulation panels in the spaces where the bottom of the doghouse would be so this one is actually a double layer so if i delete one you'll see that it's three and a half inches um, here so um, by adding two of them, um, we're going to fill that space nicely and it's going to give extra insulation for the doghouse. So we're going to add two here and two here. And then we're going to go ahead and add that uh, outdoor grade plywood sheet to the bottom here and then secure it with pin nails and wood glue uh, to make sure it stays in place. 
So by the end of this step, um, you should have a insulated uh, doghouse that is ready for the next step. All right, so the doghouse is starting to take shape. We are now on step four, which is adding the patio. So we're gonna start by creating the patio frame. This is gonna be a two by four frame. You're gonna need two 83 and three quarters um, inch long two by fours for the sides, and then a total of three 28 and a half inch two by fours. And pay attention to the spacing here. This is important for how the patio will attach to the doghouse. So 47 and three quarters inches here of a gap, and then 31 and a half inches here. Um, use three and a half inch screws, wood glue, pre-drill, um, make sure it's fastened together nicely. And then this will be the finished frame. Now we're gonna add some reinforcement pieces so that this um, patio can be weight bearing, whether it, it's you that needs to go in, you know, to the doghouse and like add something or clean it. Um, or if you have a dog and multiple dogs that are gonna be living there. So you're gonna need three 40 and a half inch two by four pieces, cut both ends at 45 degrees. Now let's go ahead and add the frame, the patio frame to the doghouse. So we have kind of like this more square area and then a rectangular area here. So make sure that it is positioned like this. Um, the back two by four um, needs to be flush with the front entrance panel. Uh, two by four. So this two by four and this two by four need to be flushed together, not the floor of the doghouse. We're going to take care of this little gap later. So make sure that these pieces are flush. And then also you have to indent by about two and a quarter inches from the side of the doghouse. So the four by four post and the frame of the patio needs to be two and a quarter inches apart. Go ahead and secure with three and a half inch screws and add wood glue to make sure it's a nice bond. All right, so next we're gonna take one of the, um, one of the two, by, two by four pieces that you've cut, that's uh, 45 inches, sorry, 45 degrees, um, and we're gonna just slightly modify it. So we're gonna take a, a handheld saw and then um, about four and 15, 16 inches or about five inches. We're just gonna cut off this little portion. And this little portion is gonna be uh, a quarter inch deep. So you can use a chisel um, and then just chip that off. So we're gonna take that piece and we're going to add it to the doghouse here. So the non-modified end is gonna go here. The modified end is gonna go here. So it's gonna be reinforced like that. Use two and a half inch screws here so that they don't protrude through to the other side and then three and a half inch screws here and wood glue, of course. Next, go ahead and add the other reinforcement piece. So um, this one is, it doesn't need to be modified. So uh, two and a half inch screws here, three and a half inch screws here. Use wood glue, secure it together and Next, we're going to add the decking uh, pieces to the patio. So these are 83 and three quarters inch long one by four pieces. So uh, these can be attached in several different ways and the DIY guide does go over different options for attaching these. If you don't have a nail gun, you could use um, just like two and a half inch screws here um, or you could use a pin nailer um, that uses one or one and a half inch um, long pin nails. Use wood glue, make sure that it's all secured um, nicely together. And you're gonna need a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of these pieces. All right, now we did mention that little gap that was gonna exist, so we're gonna fill it. So you just need a 21 inch long one by four uh, lumber piece. So this we're gonna put right in here and just use glue, use pin nails. If you want to screw it in together, you can. Um, and then that's gonna just make a nice cohesive uh, transition to the interior of the doghouse. All right, so we're going to now start adding the railing, the security railing for around the doghouse. 
So you're gonna need a total of six 13 and 11 16 inch two by four pieces. Um, these are gonna be added to the outside of the patio. So not how they overlap here and here that's gonna be flush against the uh, side of the doghouse there. Um, so just add them with uh, screws. So two and a half inch screws, three and a half inch screws, whichever, um, just so that they don't show through to the other side. That's the most important thing there. And now go ahead and add the uh, one by four lumber pieces that are going to be the uh, railing. So you're going to need three 88 and a quarter inch long pieces, three 33 inch or six actually, since you got three here and three here. Use wood glue and then here again, you have the option of using a pin nailer or you could use, um, use screws. So attach those. Okay, now we're going to add a nice decorative top to the uh, railing here. So this is two by four lumber and we're going to use uh, just regular screws here. Oops. So you're going to need two 35 inch pieces and then you're going to need one 83 and three quarters inch piece. So these are going to be added to the top and then just use wood glue and three and a half inch screws um, to secure them into place. All right, so by the end of this step, you should have a beautiful doghouse that now has a patio as well that is reinforced on the bottom here. We're ready to go to the next step. All right, so we are in step five, which is going to be adding the stairs to the doghouse. So we will begin by adding the initial stair. So this is going to be made out of two by four lumber you're going to need two pieces that are seven and a half inches long and then two pieces that are 26 and a half inches long secure them together with wood glue and three and a half inch screws and the 26 and a half inch long pieces need to be half an inch apart over here and then you're going to see why that's important in just a moment now for the stringers of the stairs we're going to be using two by ten lumber so you're going to need two pieces that are 69 and 5 8 inches long. Cut both ends at 45 degrees. All right, now go ahead and add that initial step or initial stair to the stringers. So you'll see that this part, oops, uh, this part is uh, flush with the stringers. So this needs to align right here. And then go ahead and add this with wood glue and two and a half inch screws so that they're not protruding through to the other side. Um, next, go ahead and add just some decking pieces to the initial stair, initial step or initial stair, 29 and a half inch long. And you're going to need um, to attach that either with screws or if you're using a pin nailer, you can do that with glue. So. Next is adding the actual um, stringers or the staircase to the patio and also attaching it to the main doghouse frame. So you're going to need to add it directly to the four by four post here with three and a half inch screws and then secure it to the railing on this side with three and a half inch screws. Pre-drill, of course, make sure the wood doesn't split. And then also we're going to be adding uh, a piece here. So this is our um, this is our 40 and a half inch uh, two by four lumber piece that we cut in 45 degrees on either side in the previous step. So we are now adding it directly to the stairs here. Now, the reason why we spaced out those 26 and a half inch pieces um, at half an inch apart is to make sure that this component aligns with the stairs. So when we did that, we are now making it so that this reinforcement aligns with the rest of the stairs. So secure it together here with three and a half inch screws and here three and a half inch screws, use wood glue and then secure that together. And now just to close up that area and then you'll see so that it looks uniform with the remaining steps on that first stair, that first step, we're going to add one more 26 and a half inch piece 
on the face here just to conceal it and make it look nice. So um, here we're gonna add three and a half inch screws for the top. You can either use screws or again, pin nails and um, also add it from the back there as well. Use wood glue, make sure that it's nice, safe and secure. All right, let's go ahead and make the remaining uh, stairs. So you're going to need to create these little uh, rectangular boxes. Um, 26 and a half inch two by fours for the sides, seven and a half inch for the ends here. Use three and a half inch screws, wood glue, and secure it all together. You're gonna be adding the decking pieces. This is, this is the one by four lumber. It has to be 29 and a half inches long. Um, and then secure it either with screws or with pin nails. Create a total of four of these components. And then let's go ahead and add them to uh, to the actual stringers here. So in terms of the spacing, so to make it easy, uh, what I did is I have these touching the edge of the stringer here, whereas you see the initial one does not, but these will. Uh, the reason why is because it's easier to space them out like that. So you're gonna need to have these 10 and 5 8 inches apart. So all of them are gonna be 10 and 5 8 inches apart. From the bottom, they are gonna be six inches apart. And then, or sorry, six inches from the end there. And then from this end is 21 and 3 16 inches apart. Uh, once you've got all the spacing correct, go ahead and secure them with uh, two and a half inch screws because you don't want them showing through and use wood glue. Um, the spacing doesn't have to be exact, um, but if you want it to look all nice and uniform, um, how it should be, you know, this would be the appropriate uh, spacing for that. All right, next we're just gonna add a little railing piece that's gonna go um, on the side of the um, of the doghouse. So this is gonna be a 71 and 1/8 inch long two by four lumber piece with one in with one side cut at 45 degrees. So we're gonna integrate it here into the uh, railing so that there's a nice continuity there and then it looks nice and uniform. Secure with three and a half inch screws or two and a half inch screws and wood glue. All right, so you've now added the stairs to this beautiful doghouse. Now we're gonna move on to our final step which is going to be adding the roof. All right, so we are now in our sixth and final step of building this doghouse. Uh, we're gonna be adding the roof. So to do that, you're going to need to create the frame of the roof first. Um, take two pieces of two by four that are 92 inches long and two 55 inch two by four pieces, assemble it into this rectangular shape, secure the two by fours with a wood glue and then three and a half inch screws course pre-drill to prevent wood from splitting and go ahead and add two three quarters inch uh, plywood panels that are 48 by 62 inch long and these are going to be secured together with a slight overhang so when you do attach them with screws and uh, glue there is a overhang of two inches um, on all sides. So two inches here and here, and it'll be on all four corners. They're gonna need to have that overhang. All right, so adding this directly to the doghouse, you're gonna need some help for this. Um, place the roof directly on top of the doghouse. And since we had the two front posts that were four inches higher than the two back posts, it'll create a slope for the doghouse like this. So when you do place the roof, slide it as far as you can to the front. And then once it's in place, go ahead and secure it with um, some screws, three and a half inch screws. And then you'll be ready for adding the, uh, the shingles or metal. Um, so if you are adding some shingles to this, you need to make sure that you're adding underlayment before you add the shingles. So some sort of roofing felt or similar underlayment to provide an extra layer of protection against leaks. And then start from the bottom, work your way up, overlapping shingles according to the manufacturer's instructions. And for the roofing nails, um, you can also add some additional sealant and also along the edges uh, of the roof as well to make sure that there are no leaks. The DIY plan PDF also covers some information about how to 
add metal roof if you chose to go that route. It also has detailed instructions on how to paint uh, the doghouse. So the finishing kind of steps, painting, staining, preparing it, sanding, um, also maintenance and how to regularly inspect it, clean it, reapply finish, pest control, and um, additional information like that. So the doghouse that you put so much effort into can last you for many, many years. Thank you for sticking with me to the very end. Also to everyone who built this doghouse and has shared their journey in the reviews and photos, you're what makes this community great. Keep inspiring.